So hi, hello, this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader and in today's video I'm going to show you how to hide indicators on your expert advisor or on your tester, strategy tester in this case. So sometimes you just find yourself having too many indicators that uh, running them on the strategy tester makes the system run slowly in this case so to save time you can disable that one so what i'm going to do i'm just going to over down to my ide that is now the mql5 meta editor in this case then i'm just going to take an example that uh, contains uh, an indicator so let me just go to maybe experts then let me just take just a random example, maybe an example like uh, an example like uh, this uh, marked, which is over here. L let me just go back again to our strategy tester and try to take where was it on the think examples? Yeah, it is contained here on the examples. Then we have it on the marked. Then wow, what did happen really? Let me repeat that uh, that one again. So on the examples folder, on the marked folder, then marked uh, sample over there. So let me just click on start so that the strategy tester initializes. So right now you can see we have this, uh, uh, what do I call it? We have this uh, marked indicator which is now over here and sometimes you can just maybe find yourself having too many indicators on the chart in this case so let me just show you just real quick how to disable this one on the strategy tester so if i were to run this one you can see it is running uh, very correctly in this case just as anticipated but uh, in this uh, case we do not want to have this marked indicator over here. However, it has to be on the background in this case. So let me just so show you how to do this one. So I'll just go again to my meta editor. And this is just real simple. You will just be, what? I don't know. Let me just find the, you just disable this one on the on init function. I'm just trying to look or locate my own init function which is just over here so i'll just go on the own init function say something like a tester tester id indicators which is exactly over there then you need to provide in the boolean to id in this case if you just really want to add the indicators all of the indicators you just need to uh to to do what to do what just type in the boolean true in this case because you want to add it if you want to see what the tester id indicators function means just place your cursor over the name then press f1 on your keyboard and it will open the 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 what do i call it the documentation for the tester id indicators in this case for that function that specific function so you can see this is exactly what we did tester id indicators is now set to true if you set it to false nothing will uh, will show in this case nothing will be shown in this case i mean it will not have any effect if you set it to false so let us see if our true boolean flag over here works in this case now so i'll just go ahead compile that one it does compile fine so let us add back again to our uh, example that we are trying to run there for demonstration purposes then i will just click on start let us now see if it really works so you can see we have already loaded our marked sample over here which was the previous one which is now which now uses the marked uh, which is now in this case marked means moving average convergence divergence indicator in this case so right now you can see it is just the same uh, strategy or the same indicator that we are using but in this case we add the indicators over here so that is all that you needed to know on how to add the indicators on the tester in this case so that is all bye bye i hope this video was a uh, Though however short but effective too and making you understand you can hide the the indicator so bye bye